what shirt I'm wearing today. Oh, the coffee. Thank you, do South. I do appreciate it. Mm-mm-mm. So good. Here in a little bit after I wake up from my first cup, you better believe it's a steeped coffee. It's like a tea bag inside here. Thank you, do South Coffee. Dot com for sending along the goodness. Oh man, can't wait to try that again. <sighs> Morning run, see you in one hour. Oh, that's interesting. Not exactly sure what I'm doing, but it looks tasty. Mmm, good. Oh, deal with that. <clears throat> First sip. Okay. Here we go. Mmm. I probably put a little too much water in. But do you want to let it seep a little more? It's been four or five minutes. Yeah, okay. I mean, it'll only get better. Mmm. Okay. Breaking up the mileage. Going, getting out this morning, did seven. Now you only mm -hmm. have ten. That's nice. This is nice, hon. Mm -hmm. Hon, I'm so ready. Mm -hmm. I'm doing literally 15 to 20 miles. Oh my gosh. Monday to Saturday. So <laughs> That's it's, brilliant. It's so nice. The art of the taper. Okay, oh update. 10 minutes later, it's getting darker. It was a little light at the beginning. Patience is a virtue, everybody. So, just like in running, right? We gotta be patient with our training. Oh, hon, it's getting better. Oh, I can see you by can the see how, yeah. see how darker it's see. getting? Coffee, wine, cigars. <laughs> <laughs> darker the better, always darker the better. Oh, man. What else do I like that's dark? Hmm. Chocolate. Oh, dark chocolate. I was gonna say burnt toast. I'd rather have yes. toast that's basically roasted red peppers. charred, roasted red peppers. Mmm. How this is it? This is it. Seven days. A week from today, baby. Starting the taper. Mmm. So well, the taper's already started, but really start the taper. That's so. It's very cool. It makes me think of like motherhood and being pregnant and nursing, and then you have a toddler, and then Joseph's in charge of Henry. I know. It's like now, now I'm done with that. Now we are gonna yes. do the math. It's like the art of the, it's yes. so crazy. The flu, you work so hard, 140 miles, 140 miles, 135 miles, 100. And then the taper. And then the taper. Let's go, let's go. Mmm, coffee was delicious with true love. Got the t-shirt on, can you see it there? Do south, oh man. Man, I don't need much in this world, but you know I need the coffee, okay. Now I'm glancing down because I'm just pulling up Strava here on my laptop, and all right, January 18th to the 24th. Week off after the Naples half marathon. Feels like yesterday. Okay, so week off, zero miles, all right? Then, boom, January 25th, 60, 70, 80. There it is on your screen, all the way up, 125, and then eventually March 8th through the 14th, arriving at 140, holding that for two weeks, and then back down the roller coaster. You know the story there all the way to, actually, I'm filming this on Sunday, so I just wrapped up a 60 mile week the second like the the week leading into the real taper before the peak race so what hit me for this key insight is uh, oh, and again it hit me maybe two or three days ago and i've just been trying to figure out a time to share it with all of you so here we go let me again pull up strava so we are rolling down to the second week of this training block okay i believe it was january Two, you know, it was February 1st through the 7th. I hit 70 miles for that week. And on an easy day, and I know it's an easy day based on where it was positioned in the week, also based on the distance. And all I said was day nine colon patience. Meaning, look at the pace, 656 a mile. Now this was, okay, let me try and break this down. This is only nine, so I took the week off. This is only nine days into the training block. What does that mean? 
because I tapered into Naples, freshening up the legs, raced hard, but then had seven days off. You know what that day nine means? It means my legs were still very, very fresh, getting ready for the big volume that was coming down the pike. So my little revelation right now, everybody, and the risk that I'm taking, okay? I usually don't do this. And you may have noticed it a little bit over the past, I'm just gonna say 10 days, if you're really following along closely, is that I'm gonna rest more. I'm gonna rest hard. I'm gonna taper harder, <laughs> meaning rest more than I usually would. Why? Because right now my legs are, I'm gonna say, struggling to run seven minutes a mile unless I'm in a workout or in Naples, Florida in a 10K, they're just, um, they're not upset at me, I don't think, but they're just not fresh, okay? I, there's, like, I wouldn't, like, today, I think uh, for the, I, basically, I'm hovering, and I've said this before, thank you for listening to me, because it's all, it's a big, big moment, a breakthrough, really, for my tapering experience, which I can apply to future training blocks, um, and again, I don't know what the results will be in Toledo. Got to go race and see how it does. But I'm going to rest extra this week. Why? Because on day nine of this training block, after a week off, my legs were to the moon. Very happy. Now, just to recap real quick, what is the risk? The risk is that, first of all, I've never done this before, where I'm going to make extra emphasis on resting the legs now, I'm, st I'm still going to get turnover. No sleepy legs in the taper, right? Upper right-hand corner. Remember that vlog? Uh, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure that by next Sunday, I, my legs are just like to the moon. Like, again, that they feel like I felt in day nine of this training block. I'm going to stop there. Let's go cook dinner. And uh, I'll get you the comment of the day, question of the day. I know I got a little excited there, but it's, it's nice to have insights into your training, all right? And again, we still gotta go race. My new favorite for stir fries right there. Uh-huh, what is it? Garlic and herb. Remember what I said earlier today, charred. Darker the better. Oh man. Come on. And this shepherd's pie? Yes. How do we ever get it on your fork though? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely delicious. Dinner is done. Any walk fans out there? All right, I'm hearing about these walk. I think it's W-O-K. I've never used one before, but sounds delicious. Just mix up these stir fry ideas. I'm gonna have to look up some, I'm just throwing in. What I, you know, after Toledo, I'm gonna have to look up some recipes for stir fries. All right, comment of the day going out to Brian Grissom. Thank you so much, Brian. He's a coach. He says, this is yesterday's vlog, all right, where I launched the idea about outfitting a cross country team. All right, Brian says, there's a reason your channel has doubled in a year. That is it. Your passion for not only the sport, but those on the fringes who want to get into the sport is inspiring. Well, thank you, Brian. I mean, that, I mean, what, what else are we doing on this earth? You know what I mean? It's like, let's bring, I made a vlog about, I called it, I think, 7 billion runners because I truly believe running is the most accessible sport on earth, all right? And so I would love to continue to grow the sport, not for the sake of numbers, for the sake of uh, just joy and, and purpose to daily living for people around the world. So Brian says, as a, as a cross country coach, there is nothing like high school cross country. Can't wait to see this idea come to life, all right? So email me once again, if you know of a high school cross country team that needs help, I'm all ears, all right? And I just realized I did not think of a question of the day ahead of time. Hold on. All right, we'll go to an old school one. You know the drill. How was your long run? If you did it on Saturday or Sunday, tell us a good story. It's 
Well, it's not warming up in Colorado, but if you live somewhere, I, I saw some pictures from Europe over the weekend. It looks like it's, it looks like the flowers and the trees are starting to bloom over there. So, so, so nice. Anyway, that's the question of the day. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching, as always. Oh, so good. All right, everyone. We will toss it to, um, we'll toss it just to yesterday's vlog in case you missed the announcement. I'd really appreciate it if you watched and gave me your feedback down in the comments. Okay, I'm trying to reply to as many comments as possible right here, right here, right here. Thank you so much. All right, everyone. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.